No, shalom, shalom. This is your brother Emma Wong coming to you with a uh, brief lesson. Lord willing, you know, it's uh, straight to the point and edifying. Um, first and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, and As always, double honors goes to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who were well and who taught us this truth. And as always, spreading uh, much love, peace, and salutations to the Archimat there, you know, the the Bayath Dawada, the House of David, man. You know, the hopeful elect doing this work. You know, in the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, man. You know, try calling out to the to the hopeful elect in order to you know to gain our salvation to to escape destruction, man. Right, you know, we've been given that chance. You know, we've been called back. You know, we've been, we've been, you know, we've been received, man. We've been called back into this, into the fold, man. Right, and there's only a, you know, a select few uh, people, especially men, that are gonna get the opportunity to, you know, have the the knowledge, the understanding of this word, man, and and uh, through that, the ability. To gain all the hope, I should say, to gain salvation, man. And why? Because of the sacrifices, or the, the sacrifice of Yahweh Shai, man. And that's all through, you know, Yahweh, man. You know, we got a lot to be thankful for, man. You know, we got to be thankful, man. We got to be, uh, you know, you know, super thankful to the Lord, man. We don't, you know, if you don't understand how. If you have an understanding of this truth, man, if you don't understand how deep that is, you know, it's an unbelievable thing. I mean, think back to before you knew this this word, man. You was a nothing, and no, you still are nothing, and nobody. But you was even less than. You know, you know, you you was definitely for the fuel for the for the fire, man. But now you have a, you have that hope, All right? And that's through the sacrifices, man. And the love that you have, that you have, by Shemi has shown to us, man. So let me just read, man. I'm not going to be too long. Just going to get into a few chapters, and Lord willing, they'll be edifying, right? So this is John three and sixteen, right? And I'm not going to go into the full explanation. We know by now that this is only talking to Israel, man. There's plenty of scriptures that detail that the Lord is only dealing with His people, all right? So John three sixteen says, "For God so loved the world." That he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but ever have everlasting life. You know. You know, the quick breakdown, you know, the word world is um the cosmos, man. Like an orderly an orderly heavenly arrangement, man. This is a select a select people. And and and, and that's how deep that is, man. Because that's for select. No, it's not only. That's not even for the whole of Israel, man. That is for the elect. That is for the elect, man. Because the elect aren't gonna perish, man. They're gonna escape the, that death, that second death, man. They're gonna, they're gonna escape that. It's only those of Israel that don't, um, you know, don't get called back to this, that are gonna perish, man. The elect aren't going to perish. How about that? So it says, For Yahweh sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned. Right? That condemnation comes with the destruction that's going to come, man. But he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of the Most High, man. And there you have the importance of the name all right you got people walking around still calling him yeshua and all this madness man christ jesus christos you know what i mean it's crazy you know i think they think that um yahweh has these multiple names man he has a name you know and his titles yes but he has a name and it's yahweh 
verse 19 says, And this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For everyone that doth believe doth evil, hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, but his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in in Yahweh. So, you know, there's a, there's, that's a major reason why we should be constantly thanking the Most High. And just for the, I'll say Jasper, I'll say it like this, so I'm not down, so I'm, like, I'm downplaying it. You know, we should be thankful to know just for the fact that we know this truth, you know, that we know who we are as a nation of people, man. Because there's lots of people out there that know that of our people, of our of our people, but it doesn't mean they're gonna make it, and it doesn't mean they're even doing anything about it, man. We've been not only have we been the truth has been made manifest unto us, but we've been put um in that spirit to. To follow it up, you know. Um, Romans five and one says, "Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with Yahweh through our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice." In hope of the glory of the, of the Most High. So it says, by whom we have access by faith into this grace, that grace, man, that 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 avoidance, that chance for avoidance of death, of woe and destruction. You know. It says, and not only so, but we glory in tribulations, also knowing that tribulations work with patience, suffering. And patience, experience, and experience hope. Yeah, because, <laughs> and that's that's a beautiful thing, man. Because you know, through um through our patience, in this in this truth, this thing of ours, as you know, Apostle Kabbalah likes to say. Um, we gain. You know, we we have to have patience because we we we. We're waiting, man. We're constantly waiting for the return of Yahweh Shai, man. And through that, we gain experience and we see things. We ex and not we gain experiences, but we see it. We have experiences that what it says hope, man. That build our hope up, you know. If certain things happen, in, you know, evil. Yeah, and that could be negative things, man. It could be the most high getting on your ass. Then it could be him building you up again. The chariots, you know, miracles seen. Things like that. It says, um, and hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of the Most High is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit, which is given unto us. Yeah, we're not ashamed to, to hope in, in the return of Yahweh Shai in, 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 in the coming in chariots, man. We're not ashamed to, ashamed to say that either. Imagine how that sounds. To the un, to the uneducated man, to the to the to those of those people out there that don't believe, we must sound like crackpots, man. You know, we must sound like crackpots. Anyway, I'm gonna jump to another. Uh, in fact, let me uh, go to the next. Like I said, it's not gonna be too long, man. Um, in fact, you know, I'm just going to get straight to the point here. Romans 6 and 23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of Yahweh is eternal life through Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, our Lord, man. So what's that? That's basically saying that you know before, you know, Heavenly Father sent His Son, who He loves, right? It's not a castaway thing. Who He loves to perish for the sins of His people, 
who he also loved. In order for what? To give us a chance. And it's only the, listen, I mean, the elect is always going to make it. But you don't know who the elect is, man. So, you know, that's why we say hopeful elect. And, and, and that's the point. You, once you know this truth and the spirit is on you, you have to continue on, man. You know, because that's the hope that you've been given, that you are going to make it because you've been given the knowledge, man. And the faith. Um... As I said that, let me just, I can't remember where it is. Uh, that's it, Hebrews 11 and 1, shame on me for not remembering it. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Man. That's, just, that's strong. You know, we're, we're waiting on some... We're waiting on something that we have no physical, tangible um, evidence of, man. Now, we talk about Yahweh Shai, and I'm going to say this to say something else. We talk about Yahweh Shai like we know him, man. But we do know him, man, because we were with, we were with him. And not only that, we saw him. And not only that, we know him because he is the word, man. And we know him, man. That's that relationship. That's how you get that um relationship, man. I say uh, Isaiah twelve, it says, um, and it, and in the day that thou shalt say, O Lord, I will praise thee, for thou wast angry with me; thine anger is turned away, and thou comfortest me, comforted this me. Behold, Yahweh is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For the Lord, Yahweh, is my strength and my song. He also is become my salvation. Therefore, with joy shall ye draw water out of the wells of salvation. And in the day, and in that day shall ye say, Praise the Lord, call upon his name. Declare his doings among the people, which is what we do, man, all the time we do these lessons. And we're out in the streets, you know. It says, make mention that his name is exalted. Sing unto the Lord, for ye have done excellent things. This is known in all the earth. And he's done excellent things, man. You know. With the miracles that he's wrought, you know, bringing us out of Egypt, man. You know, it's a miracle. The miracle in itself is that that we uh, all of a sudden know who we are, man. It says, "Cry out and shout, thou inhabitant of Zion, for great is the Holy One of Israel in the midst of thee." So we have got to exalt the name, man. We got to exalt the name. We got to exalt Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, man, because the Lord has done great things. Uh, you know, you know, we gotta thank him. Um, you know, on a daily basis, man. When you wake up in the morning, you know, wake. Uh, I thank the Lord for waking you up. Thank him for giving you this knowledge and, and keeping you in this knowledge, man. You know, that Psalm fifty-one that springs to my prayer. You know, take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Because as easy as it's been given to you, it's as easy as it can be taken away, man. All right, and it's not easy. It's, you know, it's easy to the Most High. But Jeremiah 33 and 11 says the, the voice of joy and the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride, the voice of them that shall say, praise the Lord of hosts, right? And we are the bride, right? The Most High is the bridegroom, man. It says, praise the Lord of hosts, for the Lord is good, 
for his mercy endureth forever. Right? And of them that shall bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. And, then, and just a side note, man, you know, it says his mercy endureth forever. That's, so that's telling you that he hasn't done away with his people, has he? You know, if his mercy endure, if his mercy endure forever, man. You know, a lot of people, a lot of these haters, try to say that you know Israel. You know, it's not for Israel anymore. It's for the Gentiles, man, the spiritual Israelites, because of, you know, they, uh, you know, Israel turned their back on Yahweh Shah. Well, it's not. They keep talking like, like the whole of Israel did that, man. Like there was no one faithful to Yahweh Shah. Right, but it says the Lord's mercy endure forever, meaning what? That of course he's going to bring his people back, man. The scriptures tell you that all Israel shall be saved. That's another thing to thank the Lord for. Imagine that. Even these wicked ass Israelites out here, man, they're going to be in the kingdom, man. Eventually, through childbirth. But they're still going to be there. He says, and, and, um, and of them that shall bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. For I will cause to return the captivity of the, la of the land as at the first, saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord of hosts again in this place, which is desolate without man and without beast. And in all the cities there shall be an, an habitation of shepherds causing their flocks to lie down. In the cities of the mountains, in the cities of the vale, and, and in the cities of the south, and in the land of Benjamin, and in the places about Jerusalem, and in the cities of Judah shall the flocks pass again under the hands of him that telleth them, saith the Lord. It says, Behold, and it's getting to the point, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will perform that good thing which I promised unto the house of Israel and to the house of Judah in those days, and at that time will I cause the branch of righteousness to grow up, grow up into David, and he shall execute judgment and righteousness in the land. So who's the branch? Who's that branch of righteousness, man? Yahweh Shai, man. Who is of the seed of David, man. In those days shall Judah be saved, and Jerusalem shall dwell safely. And in and this is the name wherewith she shall be called the Lord of our righteousness. So yeah, man. Um, I think I've got one more slack here. Uh, just a quick one, man. Just to get to the point of this again. So Colossians 3 and 17 says, And whatsoever you do in, in word or in deed, do all in the name of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, giving thanks to Yahweh and the Father by him, man. Because without them we're nothing. And without Yahweh Shai giving us the grace, we'd all be dead. Because we are, we are just, the wages of sin is death. And we would have continued to sin and would not have been able to have the grace, man. Let's not forget how the Lord used to deal with us, man. You know, we didn't have that grace back in the day. He put us to death for all sorts, man. Going, you know, rightfully so. But now he's, you know, he's through his loving kindness, right, and his everlasting mercy has given us a way back. All right. Anyway, man, that's it. That's all I got on that. Um, you know, Lord when we said it fine, you know. And then we go, and all the, all the things we do, man, you know, we wake up in the morning, thank the Lord, you get home safe, you thank the Lord, you eat him your food, you thank the Lord, you got a roof over your head, you thank the Lord, you know, you, and, and that's not when you're getting afflicted, you thank the Lord, man, because that's, um, when you're getting rebuked, man, that's straightening you out, you know, so you got to thank the Lord in all things, basically, anyway, with that, I want to say Shalom. I want to say Kol Halal Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Fakwatash, and the Lord is edifying. And uh, yeah, Shalom until the next one.